I want to talk to you today about this remarkable invention that we call TAML. We can save 85 million tons of carbon emissions and 26 billion gallons of water. And we can do this by changing our approach to a very simple daily task, laundry. The numbers I gave you, the carbon savings are equivalent to the annual emissions of a US state like New Jersey, or if you're from the EU, a country like Austria. The water savings are equivalent to this uh, annual water usage of 86 million households. And I want to show you how we can do this and open your eyes to a major contributor to climate change that you may have not have thought about before, and that's bad chemistry. Let me explain. Chemical reactions can be made stronger in one of two ways. We can add a lot of heat, or we can add a lot of volume of chemical. Industry typically does both. And bad, chemi bad chemistry causes us to use a lot of heat and a lot of chemicals. And bad chemistry also uses a lot of water because we need longer cycle times for the chemistry to work. And this is one reason why laundry contributes 8% of our global carbon emissions. Let's first look at commercial laundry. The industry washes millions of pounds of laundry every day for entities like hotels or hospitals. And they have to reach a standard known as hygienically clean, which means clean of various yeast, mold, and other bacteria. And currently, re um, reaching this standard requires, again, a lot of heat, a lot of water, and a lot of chemicals. For those of you staying in a hotel room tonight, you might be surprised to know that on average, you will require 25 gallons of water just to clean the towels and linens in your room. Many of them you only use once. That's almost 10,000 gallons of water in a year. Now, in the US alone, we have over 5,000 hotels with an average occupancy rate of 65%. That's 30 billion gallons of water that we will heat to over 140 degrees in temperature and bomb with chemicals just to get these towels nice and white, hygienically clean, and fluffy. It doesn't have to be this way. Camel, inspired by nature, is so powerful that it can fundamentally change the equation of how we use heat, water, and chemicals. Dr. Terry Collins at Carnegie Mellon University and his teams have researched the way our bodies clean. In our bodies, we have enzymes called peroxidases, and these enzymes work together with hydrogen peroxide, another naturally occurring chemical in our bodies, and they make oxidation reactions faster, more efficient, and incredibly powerful to break down substances. Think of powerful microscopic fires that happen in your body to keep yourself safe and clean every day. And by following the designs of nature, a process known as biomimicry, Dr. Collins created Tamil Catalyst to mimic these peroxidases, but made them 100 times smaller and up to 1,000 times more powerful. Here's how it works. When you add Tamil to an oxidant like hydrogen peroxide, it steals the oxygen atom, leaving behind harmless water, and takes it to the compound, burning it up. This powerful interaction happens thousands of times until Tamil itself is broken up into harmless component um, atoms. So unlike the other 2,500 catalysts in the world, Tamil behaves differently, and these efficiencies are game-changing. We're currently using Tamil chemistry in commercial laundry. We used our chemistry in a laundry facility that uses a tunnel washer. Now imagine a giant metal 10-chamber machine about the size of a tennis court. I'm not talking about one of those little pickleball courts. I'm talking about a real grown-up tennis court. This thing is huge. So using our chemistry with the normal detergents and hydrogen peroxide, we were able to cut energy use by 68% and reduce the chemical volumes by a quarter. We also used our chemistry in a hotel using a pocket washer. Now imagine a machine that might be two to five times bigger than the machine you have at home. We used the same low temperature process running at 90 degrees rather than 140 degrees, and we reduced energy demand by 60% cut water usage by 50% and reduce cycle times by almost a third. Running at temperatures 50 to 70 degrees lower than the industry norm, the laundry passed the test that shows it to be hygienically clean, the gold standard for laundry. 
And because of the process being less intensive, we reduce fiber degradation by four times. That means longer life and less waste. Thanks to nature's efficiency, camel chemistry can do more with less. This container here contains 100 grams. When we mix this in this drum with water, we can enable the washing of over 200,000 pounds of laundry. That would fill not one, not two, but three 18 wheelers. This is the power of mimicking nature. What does this mean for our planet? If US households adopted this chemistry in their laundry, we would save 25 million tons of carbon annually. If hotels adopted the chemistry, we would add another 55 million tons of carbon savings. And if hospitals joined in, we'd add another five. That's how we get to the 85 million tons I gave you in the beginning. If hotels adopted this globally, that's where we get the 26 billion gallons of water savings. And if households use the chemistry to go to shorter cycle times, we would be talking about hundreds of billions of gallons of water annually. Camel doesn't only have a planetary impact, it has a commercial impact as well. For every $1 of Camel, commercial laundry facilities can save two to $4 of utility costs and upwards of 15 to $25 in labor. Good chemistry just makes sense, both for the environment and for commerce. And this innovation is not just limited to laundry. We estimate that if Tamil chemistry were used across multiple industries, we could save upwards of 1% of our global annual carbon emissions. We have to open our eyes to the way that chemicals impact our planet. It's about changing our assumptions that the chemicals we use don't matter. They do matter. They impact our bodies, they impact our hormone systems, and as I hopefully have shown you today, they drive our resource use, water and heat. My simple point is this, if we change the way we use chemistry, we can rebalance industry's relationship to the planet. Solving climate change isn't just about energy infrastructure. Our responsibility doesn't end when we buy an electric vehicle. We need better chemistry. Imagine what we could do with over 20 years with Tamil chemistry. We could save billions of tons of carbon, we could save hundreds of billions of gallons of water, and we could reduce the chemical volumes around us. We could, in fact, put chemistry in balance with nature. Thank you.